Hello everybody, back again with another video. I think the last video that I had, I was trying to diagnose where uh, where my boost was going, where, uh, what, what was happening. I wasn't getting boost, thought maybe I had a bad wastegate, or maybe even a bad blow off valve, or some, some, somewhere that I was leaking. Turned out, um, these cheap eBay clamps, um, I didn't have them tight enough and one of them had popped loose the one the one down here this one had popped loose I didn't see it this whole line had popped just completely popped off um, I didn't even realize it uh, I guess it had been popped off ever since I drove it the first time maybe just pulling out of the neighborhood it popped off before I even hit boost and the little bit of boost that I was seeing on the gauge uh, may have just been a fluctuation um, in the manifold so anyway I uh, got that fixed um, another issue presented itself where sorry I thought I saw a leak there it wasn't it was just a shiny part on the blow off valve um, where the the wastegate that I got I didn't check it um, because when I bought it it said that it had an 8 PSI spring. Uh, the listing also said it had a 7 and a 13 combined. Or, you know, two springs in there. I just assumed that it was 8. Because that's what the, the title part on the eBay listing stated. So, I left it. My fault. Didn't check it. Got out on the interstate. Uh, actually, not even on the interstate. Just pulled out of the neighborhood. On the main road. And gave it a little gas um, it hit 15 psi I stopped uh, I can't immediately came off the off the gas because um, it, it kind of scared me a little bit uh, I thought maybe I'd blew, blown something I saw a puff of white smoke coming out the tailpipe um, and the car pretty much died I made it another um, hundred yards or so pulled off and started smelling gas the the fuel pressure regulator i don't know if you can see i've got the the stock one in here now um the aftermarket one here the entire the o-ring blew out and i guess i never checked these bolts around it either because they had all loosened up and gas was just spurting out the sides uh, so I, so I don't know if it's good or not still or, or what but um, anyway I had to get uh, get my wife to come pick me up bring me home get some tools get the factory pressure regulator uh, install it and it started right up I drove back home no issues um, haven't drove since uh, also noticed that at the same time my uh, my AFR gauge stopped working it um, when I cranked it up it went to 14.7 and then it just started creeping up past lean and it just so showed three dashes so I called AEM and they said that it's uh, most likely a bad O2 sensor uh, I guess these things are, are, are very very delicate the slightest little um, disruption can mess them up so anyway uh, they're gonna send me a new one uh, I think they're sending me a gauge and the O2 sensor so I'll swap that out um, they determined that it was bad because when you disconnect the ga the the gauge from the O2 sensor the um, w without it running with the cold engine uh, just crank to the the number two position the gauge would read 14.7 which is where it should be it's kind of the middle of the road um, so they kind of determined that it was ba a bad sensor so anyway they're gonna send me that um, hopefully that fixes the problem uh, I was wondering about my my injectors uh, I bought some some LS V8 injectors um, like I said I couldn't remember if they're 750 or 800 cc uh, injectors but um, I didn't realize this. I thought maybe I could run them um, and just 
knowing that they they flowed way more than the 240 cc injectors that came stock i'd be okay um so i emailed i reached out to hunter tuned who i bought them from and he was saying that uh i don't since i don't have any kind of tuning software uh it'll just overfuel so um I need to send out my, my my ECU. I'll probably just get him to uh, uh, socket, chip it, install a base map based on the... Uh, I've got a 7 PSI spring in here now. And based on that and these injectors and uh, just do that. So we'll go from there and, and see see how that does. But that's where I'm at right now. I'm just waiting on some parts. Um, haven't really driven it uh, since the day I went out and on my, you know, hit 15 psi and blew the uh, fuel pressure regulator off. But anyway, uh, that's where I'm at right now. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update where I'm at. Um, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, questions, comments, whatever, leave them, leave them below. Um, I appreciate it. Talk to you guys later.